Hi there, and welcome to the first of a three-part video tutorial on how to speed up the performance of a Windows-based computer. This is the first of many YouTube videos I'm going to be uploading, and I hope my series will provide in-depth information about how to optimize your computer, fix common errors, and show under the bonnet workings of your system. In this video, we'll be going through how to clean up the low-level basics of a Windows system in order to prevent the avalanche effect and multiply the effect of any later optimization. The first, thing that, uh, the first thing that we're going to be looking at is the removal of unwanted software. Often you may find that the computers are preloaded with software that you do not need. Although it may add to the user experience, usually they're not required for maximum satisfaction. One way that we're going to use to get rid of this is with a piece of software called PC Decrapify. I haven't installed this and I don't really need to at the minute because I don't have unwanted software at this moment. However, tools like this are really useful for getting rid of anything that you don't need and you may find stuff that you've never even heard of and you never will use. So, the second way to do this is by using Windows built-in add or remove programs which you can go to um, the control, pa uh, control panel to find uninstall a program or if you see it as this programs and features or if you're on Windows XP then it will be under add or remove programs now if I click here and open up my list I can see every application that's installed and choose something and uninstall it just like that and I just click that button and it does the rest so that's one way to get rid of software to um, uh, to optimize your system. So myself, I'm not really good at deciding what I do and don't need. So I kind of have a general rule. If I'm a little bit hesitant about what I want on there, I just remove it. Honestly, if if you can't think of a reason to start off with, then you probably don't need it. You can always get it later. So once we've done all that, now is the really clever bit. This is called optimizing the page file, setting one up. Now, it's set automatically in the Windows system, but it isn't usually set to maximize the use of the page file and potentially um, improve the speed of your system. So, uh, th this is basically a section on your hard disk dedicated to holding excess data from the random access memory, your RAM. Um, it works like a big bucket containing a small bucket to hold any water that overflows. And I'll give a more in-depth representation of this um, in the next video that I'm going to release. But um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is uh, get to the page file. So we're going to right-click on computer, click properties, and you'll either see this, or if we click advanced system settings, you'll see this on Windows XP. So if you just click Advanced System Settings, you get this window. Now make sure you're on the Advanced tab, and you want to click Settings under Performance. It's all the same on any Windows system. Then click the Advanced tab again, and here you'll see Virtual Memory. This is what we're going to be dealing with. What you also need to know is your RAM. So we need to go back into Properties, and we will see on here installed memory 3 gigabytes now memory works in powers of 2 so it isn't exactly 3 gigabytes is what you see there it's more like 3074 megabytes in um in terms of uh, the system because um computers work in binary and by doing it in powers of 2 then we tidy up any loose ends by doing this so we need to remember this number but we need to remember it in megabytes. So what we need to do is multiply it by 1024. 1024 is a magical number for me. It's um, one really worth remembering. So uh, you can do this in your calculator if you're not too keen on math. So you do your amount in gigabytes multiplied by 1024. 3072. Now, usually this is set by a system manage size and it's usually 1.5 times the amount of RAM however according to recent research with today's hard drives getting larger and larger the size of your page file is no longer a problem 
So, this new, these new studies propose that now two times rather than 1.5 times may be more effective. I generally work with this rule, and I myself have seen dramatic performance bonuses, especially if you have under 2 gigabytes of RAM. So this is what we're going to be doing. I've already set mine to 6144, and you can see if I multiply this number by 2, 6144 comes up. Also, if you had, for example, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 4096, multiply that by 2, you would need to enter 8192 into this box. Once you click that and entered in the initial size and maximum size, that means it stays the same and doesn't fragment. Then you click set. This isn't exactly a right or wrong thing, it's just I think this method is much more effective than the other methods out there and um, I do this trick a lot on computers and I find it it works absolute wonders, it really does imp um, improve your speed, especially if you have low RAM. Once that's set, you click OK and it will tell you at this point that you will need to log off, restart your system so it can change it. Now, I don't need to do this because mine's already set, but once you've done this, we will start talking about defragmenting and optimizing the page file that we've just set. So this will be in my part two video, which a link will be on the side to, and I'll see you in the next video.